Hello, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Uh, we've been doing VEGAS tutorials on our main channel, Tech Dive, for a long time, but we got them coming out here on Tech Dive AV Club now. We're going to be talking about Movie Studios 5th... Whoop, I'm sorry, we're on a new version now. We're going to be talking about Movie Studios 16 Platinum, and we're going to be talking about how to start a project. So when you open it up for the first time, this is what you're going to see. You could you know, choose an example project, uh, widescreen or TOF for phone or guided video creator, easy editing mode, power user, always start as power user. What I'm going to suggest you do is just say always start as power user. I would only use the easy editing mode if you're uh, actually just using this for five seconds. So you're going to edit one time with it and then never really touch it again until a year later when you need to edit some random family video or something, if that's what you bought the software for. Uh, but a lot of people are going to be editing more than once. They're going to be editing regularly. And if you're doing any kind of regular editing, I would suggest you start in power user mode or always start in power user mode. I'm going to leave this up because I got some more tutorials to do where I need to see the screen. But I'm going to say power user mode. And then boom, it pops this up right here. Go ahead and get rid of this. You don't need that, not because I'm here. Uh, if you get stuck at anything, you can try the show me how button. But um, uh, we're going to be talking about how to start a project. So first, you're just going to go to project media. Find all the stuff you want. Like if it's a LG review video, that is a review video that I've made. I just re-downloaded it from YouTube so I could have something to show you stuff with. Uh, I'm going to slide it down here. And it's very important to drop it on the video track, not the picture in picture track. Picture in picture track's got a preset effect on it uh, where it will uh, crop, auto crop it. Kind of confuses some people who don't know what it's about to do. So I just want you to see that. Uh, as you're moving things around, uh, anything highlighted will move when you drag and drop it. So if you highlight only the audio, you can just move only the audio. The audio will always go to an audio track and the video will always go to a video track. And if you want to cut it, you just need to hit S or you can use uh, one of these um, tools right here uh, which will give you all sorts of options but all those options are available in the project mini your uh, uh, video will always be in your video your audio will always be in your audio and um, your video will always be in your video your audio will always go to an audio track you can make as many of these tracks as you want by sitting insert audio track or inserting video track by right clicking and in fact when in doubt right click there's a lot of options that will become available to you uh, you can hit S to cut and you can just simply drag your clips you can slide your mouse right here it'll say trim event start right in the middle if you're too high it'll fade Let's go to the trim. You can slide it out and you'll slowly cut off your video and start at a different point in the video. Quick family photo. Oops, if you want something muted, simply just hit mute. If you want to only see the audio video track, you can hit solo, uh, but mute is what I'm going to select right now. Uh, when you're watching this with mute, you can see the uh, different parts of my video here. And that's all cool. Um, then if I want to make another cut, now I have another cut. If I want to layer something, I simply just set it on top. If I want to layer the audio, I simply slide the audio down to the bottom. Now I have a video. That's my picture in picture. Let's say I want it to be a full video. I just slide it up here to text or whatever video track I can create by uh, inserting a new video track. I'm going to delete a track. Just delete that right here. And then... Uh, now I can layer something. The one on top is the one that's always going to show. If you uh, want to create a transition, you can simply grab this fade button. And then so instead of it being a cut transition, it'll be a fade transition. This will fade to black. Um, you see it right there. It's fading to black very slowly. Uh, you can speed up the transition, slow it down, however you want to do it. You can even change the transition type by right clicking on it. Uh, if you want to add a fancier transition, simply grab one of these cool, cool transitions here and slide it on. It might take a second to render because it's going to live render, but you can watch your transition happen and it's going to be cool. I actually have this going super slow because it's a very big video. Let me Let me tighten up that transition a little bit. Again, still going super slow. There we go. Now let's watch it. Boom. I have... That's still going super slow. Let me zoom in here. I'm just doing that with the up and down arrow keys. I'm going to make this real short. Now it's going to just kind of fall down. That's the cascading transition effect. 
uh, and how to lengthen and tighten effects. You can, anytime you get a pop up box like this, you can customize anything. Let's say you want to add some text. Let's go to your media generators. This is where you can add solid colors, media generators, credits. Uh, we're just going to go to text and title. Simply drop it up here. This screen here lets you customize anything about it, uh, whether or not it floats across the screen. That's these animation points or whether it's bigger or smaller or the color of your text or if it's going to have a border or a shadow or an outline all sorts in it or if it's going to have a background if that's something you want to do uh, all you have to do is select over what you're looking at and, and you can kind of see where what it's going to look like in the timeline right here and then you can uh, move it uh, where you want to go just kind of drop it where you want it if you want it right here then you can do that you can type something out and you can highlight it you can make it bigger or smaller and you can change the uh, font type to anything you want and you can also kinda scale it up or down here too uh, if you, there's multiple ways to skin this cat so um, let's scale this back down there we go uh, so that's how you would add some text. Let's say you want that text to be see-through. Simply just grab this opacity. This works with any kind of video track. Grab that down. If you need to handle any audio volumes, you can handle that here by going up or down. Actually, I've soloed and muted. Uh, I'm going to mute this one too, but you can um, make it louder, softer. You can check your volumes over here in this output meter corner. Uh, you're going to hear me talking for just a second. Uh, for different applications, that's uh, see the audio bouncing right there that's where you can check your audio leveling and that is the basics adding an audio effect is something you might also want to do and they are all here anything more than this is is more than the basics and more than the scope of this video I have lots of tutorials about all the different steps but I want to just kind of show you what starting a project and how to do your basic cuts and moves to really kind of create something that's your own uh, so now you can import video, cut it, move it, transition it, and add titles to it. Let's say you want to render that project out. You're going to grab this whole thing right here. And and you know, however much of this you grab is, is going to be part of what you render. You're going to select uh, render loop region only. Uh, that's This is what's called the loop region. And that you, you always want to do that. I would show you, and uh, I will leave an addendum note about how to do that in the description um, to select render root legion only the reason I can't show you that is because I'm working off a version of this which is pre-release I'm excited to have it but uh, part of that is I don't have the license yet which it won't let me do the render as but um, really you would just hit make movie or render as make movies a very simple version if you're not very comfortable with video codecs and things like that I would hit make movie and you're gonna tell it like what kind of movie you want uh, YouTube is gonna be an mp4 so if you're trying to get something on YouTube select an mp4 uh, select render loop region only which will be one of the options there and then uh, it'll render out this loop region as the codec you selected and then you'll have a video and it will, you can open your video in the file explorer and it'll save it uh, wherever you told it to save the video and then you have a video file you're done you've at that point you've edited a whole project congratulations you're now a video editor uh, thank you for watching this uh, movie studios 16 platinum basics tutorial about how to get started with a project and uh, do the basics uh, all this project this software goes way 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 deeper if you want to learn more check out the more of the AV Club tutorials uh, and we have even more tutorials on our older channel but they're all on a playlist on AV Club check out uh, all the stuff we're doing if you want to go to our website and uh, buy the software if you're looking to buy the software please buy it through our affiliates link that would really really help us out it's no extra cost to you but it would uh, uh, support this channel and help us make more tutorials to help you so thanks again for watching I'm Adam this was Tech Dive AV Club and I will see you next time